this is when the magic happens, ladies and gentlemen. What you got going on now? Well, we've made a uh, executive decision to back out. try to call a little bit and uh, I'm gonna shake this turkey wing I got make it sound like something flying down up here so maybe it'll come if not we'll try to make a move on him
sit up there all day.
sitting there I quit calling for a minute so we could try to hear him fly down because I knew he was getting close and he flew down and we got a video of it he just he wasn't saying nothing and he walked right up under us Dawson threw his shotgun up I tried yelping at him to get him to stop but he never got a clear shot and couldn't get him to stop long enough but uh, I don't know it's part of it this we're, way. we're gonna try to go down here down this ridge there's some fields down here we're gonna try to go down there and see if we can get back on him he ain't talking much so it's gonna be hard yeah i think if we'd had a decoy or something maybe he'd have come to us but oh well we're gonna try we're still gonna go after him what you got going on now well We've made a executive decision to back out. We know where he's roosting at. We uh, know every all kinds of that stuff. So we don't want to keep bumping him and potentially scare him and flush him into another spot. Because this morning he didn't see us. He just had his mind made up on where he was going. And it wasn't where we was at. He just swung right through by us and uh, was headed on to wherever he wanted to go. But the, on the roost, man, he was just talking to us. I mean, like, he was, he probably gobbled, what do you say, 40 times this morning? I don't know, 30 or 40 something. 30 or 40. I mean, there, right before he flew down, it was just, it was about every couple of minutes. And then he shut up. And he ain't said nothing since. He shut up. I never heard him flew down. I just got a weird feeling. And I'm, and I moved my shotgun, and I looked, and his head poked up down there below us. And I pulled my shotgun up, and I was—I thought he was going to walk up to us. And um, he just swung right around us, stayed out from us, and was just doing his head like this right here, just walking. We didn't bump him or anything. He was just walking. And uh, we're going to back out and try to roost him this evening. Yeah, oh boy. Explain to me what you have found. This is a turkey egg eater from way back. You think so? Oh yeah. These things right here love turkey eggs. They'll eat them, squish them, run off with them. But, you, do you know how I tell how old they are? How? Count the lines. There's a lot of lines. I'd say he's about 100. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-five years of age is this little guy. I would say that's a lot of miles walk, but they don't walk very fast. I think he's born right over there. Yeah. But we, uh, I mean, what do we do with it? You want to make a turkey call out of it? Sure. People make turkey calls out of these little chuggers because they eat turkey eggs. So kill them. You do not want these around your turkey farm. They eat eggs. So we're not, we might not kill them, but we're definitely going to rehome them because we're at our turkey sanctuary right now. And you want to know why it's a sanctuary? Because we remove tarpons, they eat turkey eggs. And uh, sometimes turkeys, if they're small enough, like chicks. So, anyways, we'll ream home this guy and continue on our journey back to the truck. What have you got in your hand there? Uh, this old Smeasley hand. High definition. 3D edition. 3D. See all, I mean, out in the woods, you can't tell this thing apart from a real hand. You know? But we, uh, if we'd had a hen this morning, so he'd have came up just a tad bit closer. This evening we got a fake 3D edition Tom. Yeah, we got a Tom too, full strut. And, uh, <clears throat> we didn't bump him. He never did. 
act like he's seen us. I don't think he did. It's about three o'clock now. So we're hoping he's going to uh, come back and roost up here, to be exact. 15 on the dot. But we're going to slip back up here and put these decoys out. All right, guys. Well, we uh sat there till about, I don't know, probably about eight. Never heard him come back through. Never seen him. Never heard nothing else. We kind of call a little bit. Um, just kind of like a feeding call. And uh, scratch around a little bit. Never heard nothing else. Uh, going to try. It's supposed to rain in the morning. I may go back and listen for him. Don't hear nothing. Probably won't stand out in the rain very long. But, uh. That's it for that turkey for this weekend, I guess. We uh may go back sometime during the week if we hear him roost it again. May may wait till next weekend, try to get on another one somewhere else. But that's all for that video. It was a failure. Thanks to Dawson.